All right, so welcome to this tutorial on how to tune your own piano. My name is Paul Toby from Jazz Mental. Thanks for joining me. We learned in our first few videos how to tune single notes. We put our mute strip in, we tuned single notes, and then we tuned the unisons. Then we went to the upper register and did some spot tuning. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to switch to the lower register. So we're gonna pull out our mute strip and learn some tricks for tuning the lower register. So let's say we're gonna start right past this bar here, or this bridge, and we're gonna tune these notes. You can see that the first four have three notes, or three strings, and then the next notes have two strings, and then way down here there's single strings. So what you need to do is stick your mute strip in. We can't do this string here because there's too much space in there to put a mute strip in, so we're gonna start here. And just take your screwdriver and push it through, just like that. You don't want to push it too far because then this gets up against the string and that won't work. So just like this, it's not that hard to do. It takes a little bit of strength, but not much. And let's get all the strings that are three or two notes. And then when we get down here, we don't need to mute out the single note ones. What we need to do is tune one string at a time and then check the unison. So if it's gone down too far, just pull it up a little bit with your fingers. Doesn't need to be neat and tidy. I'm sure that professional piano tuners are much more tidy about this than I am. I just like to tune the piano and get the job done. One of the things that I may not have mentioned in the first few videos is that when the piano was moved into this location, you want to make it sit for a couple of days, gets used to the environment, the temperature, the humidity, and it just kind of settles in. So don't tune it right away after moving, because of course it's going to be cold from coming in from the outside, it's going to be sitting on a truck. Essentially what you want is for the piano to sit for a couple of days, which this one has been, and then get to the business of tuning it. So what we're gonna do down here is we're gonna start off with this note, which is uh, B flat, and we're going to mute, put our mute strip or our mute rubber in between the first two notes to tune this note to the far right. And you can see from our tuning app, Piano Meter, which I'm gonna put a link to below and also in this video. Actually, let me put a link to that right here in the corner so you can go download that. It's gonna be like 30 bucks for the pro version, which is totally worth it. Because if you consider it's gonna cost $200 every time you wanna tune the piano, especially if you wanna do spot tuning, which we've also learned in these videos, it's gonna save you a ton of money over time. So just like we did with the upper notes, we're gonna stick our tuning hammer in as solidly as possible so that it doesn't move around a lot and then Look at the piano meter and then small jerky movements and you'll feel the pin move with those movements. Don't turn it like this. Because when you do that, watch what happens. Do you see it's at that, sp that spot in piano meter right there. And then if I whack the note, it's gonna move from that spot. Why? Because you did a lot of turning of the pin but you didn't really move the string much, which is really important. So you wanna have these small jerky movements that set the pin in its place. That's what's really important. There we go. Whack it, and you can see it went out of tune when you whacked it, which means that the tension wasn't even. Now the good news about tuning lower strings is you actually have to put more movement into it because the string is longer so the pin needs to turn more. Way up in the high register, up there, it's much harder because the pin is really, really short movements. But down here, longer jerks.
Okay, now that we've got that set, remove the rubbers mute, and then you've got to tune the middle string. And now you can start to hear a lot of vibration there. So, that's what you, you want to get rid of that. There's also now overtones when you get down to the bottom, so. It's like it, it's, there's like a high pitch sound that you can absolutely hear a little clearer than the low note itself. This note here. Now it's not always, that's two octaves, it's not always that note, sometimes it's thirds, it really depends on what the overtone is. That sounds pretty good. Let's pull our mute strip out and check that final note. Now the only problem here is we can't stick a mute strip in on that first note. I just kind of jam it in between those two notes at the bottom in there. It kind of helps a little bit. It doesn't deaden it completely, but... Pretty good, and then move on to the next one. So we want to put our mute strip back in there because I just wanted to show you how to tune the entire string. So let's stick the mute string back in and then just tune single notes. That's actually pretty close according to piano meter. Okay, let's go to the next note. Also pretty close. So the piano hasn't gone completely out of tune from the move. It's actually not too bad. We had a little bit in the middle. Now we're finding a little bit less in the, in the lower notes. So that's okay. That one is flat because you can see it's below the minus one on piano meter. So let's find the middle pin, which is here. To move this so I can see it, the hammer's in the way. Okay. And this is a situation where now you only have two strings. So what I would suggest is that we now go back and tune these notes. So we're gonna start with the right string on this note, which is the A. Sometimes the note gets stuck on. It's actually pretty good. So let's go down here. Because the notes are bent over a little bit, the damper doesn't work properly, so the note keeps ringing.
Again, you want to tune the unisons for each of the strings together so that you're not hearing that, that sort of wavelength that's really short. You want to stretch that wavelength out as much as possible. So this note here, which we haven't tuned down here, which is the B, you can see it's totally out of tune. Here. Right, so we still haven't tuned this section. I just wanted to bring you down to the lower register. Let's go way down here to a C. And this is really where you're going to need the tuning app, because if you try to hear this, the, you know, pressing this C and this C, and you're trying to determine if it's in tune or not, really, really hard to hear. And that's where this app is brilliant because it actually hears that note. You can see it automatically shows that it's C1. And then it's flat. So let's tune it up. It's like that. And you're not gonna be able to discern the difference with your ear, but the app can hear it, which is really cool. So that's in tune now. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. There are some more things to talk about. We should do some more spot tuning, but basically what I'm gonna do is finish tuning the entire piano. And then in another video, we're gonna talk about spot tuning and going beyond here. But that's basically all there is to it. Let me put a link up here in the corner once again to Piano Meter, you're gonna need that. I'll also put a link to the equipment that you're gonna need, which is basically this screwdriver, that mute strip, a tuning hammer, and a couple of these tuning rubbers or mutes, as I call them, and they came in this package. I think my son got it off of Amazon which is kind of cool. You don't want the cheapest one because the hammer needs to be good and solid, doesn't need to bend. Sometimes you'll have hammers with like a really long, thin hammer to here, just a piece of metal, and that bends too much. You want the, the, the thing as solid as possible. Okay, thanks so much for your time, and I hope that you can get a lot out of this. If you have any questions or comments about tuning your own piano, and of course the process is a little bit different for an upright, but not that much. But if you have any questions or comments, please write them below. It's been a pleasure having you. Thanks so much. And you know, if you're a jazz player and you like our other videos like jazz uh, advanced piano videos, then you can subscribe to the channel. But if you're just here for the tuning, don't subscribe because if you're not gonna watch the other videos, then uh, it actually hurts our YouTube algo to have you subscribe if you're not going to watch the videos. But there are three videos for piano tuning, and I hope you enjoy those. Thanks so much for dropping by. I appreciate it.